Our next presenter uh, was supposed to be Kai Hua Liu uh, from Harbin Institute of Technology. He just completed his PhD uh, and he was a visiting professor, uh, visiting scholar at uh, UBC Okanagan for one year where he did this work. Uh, Dr. Billa will be presenting on his behalf. Uh, Dr. Muntasi Billa is an assistant professor at Lakehead University. Uh, he uh, uh, had two years of experience at Parsons as a bridge engineer before he joined uh, in uh, Lakehead University last year. Uh, he is also the recipient of the Governor General Gold Medal uh, at UBC in the PhD category. Mm -hmm. So I give the floor to Dr. Billa. Good morning, everyone. As Dr. Halum mentioned, that I'll be presenting it on behalf of my former colleague, Kai um, Hua Liu. So the title of the presentation is Seismic Facility Analysis of Deteriorating Recycle Aggregate Concrete Bridge Column Subjected to uh, Fridge Thaw Cycles. So I'll be presenting it on his behalf. So this is the outline of the presentation. We'll talk about the introduction um, of the project, um, the modeling of the bridge columns incorporating the uh, deterioration, also the uh, effect of freeze thaw cycles, uh, the seismic fragility assessment procedure, and finally some conclusion drawn from the study. So in core regions, um, um, uh, structures like uh, bridges, uh, dams, and ports are susceptible to freezing and thawing cycles. So when they are subjected to freezing and thawing cycles, they are subjected to accelerated um, corrosion, which uh, reduces their um, capacity um, and overall results in the structural deterioration. So um, uh, in uh, cold regions like in um, uh, northern China or in um, uh, northern uh, Canada, we have uh, this kind of situation where we have seen in the our um, previous session that what can happen uh, due to this um, accelerated um, corrosion and this um, aging concrete. So we will look into from the structural point of view through fragility assessment that what can happen. So um, and on the other hand the, there is uh, due to the growth of construction industry the construction and demolition was is a uh, big headache for um, all the country that can cause environmental pollution um, the water contamination because of this large amount of construction and demolition what it occupies large amount of uh, land and also there is a potential risk of structural um, uh, failure due to this um, um, uh, construction and demolition was so the goal of this study was to uh, incorporate uh, recycled concrete um, into the construction of bridge pier and what happens when they are subjected to uh, cycles of freezing and thawing. Uh, so this is the outline of the project like uh, dealing with the construction of um, um, the demolition waste and application in school regions. Um, so whenever we are applying some recycled um, uh, concrete in uh, construction, we need to see that uh, how it uh, is affected its performance in terms of the frost resistance. Uh, so in order to do that, um, um, they investigated the behavior of uh, recycled um, uh, coarse aggregate concrete on the freezing and thawing cycles and then incorporated that into the numerical modeling and evaluate the overall response of the structure under different earthquake scenarios. So this is the overall the uh, research uh, framework which uh, looked into the material level and the structural level response. So the, in the material level response it looked into the uh, failure mechanism of uh, recycled aggregate concrete under freezing and thawing condition um, to evaluate the uh, mechanical behavior and then in the structural level it looked into the uh, dynamic behavior of recycled aggregate concrete columns. Um, through um, the simulation of finite element analysis uh, which um, uh, developed the uh, seismic fragility curves for the um, uh, recycled aggregate concrete columns. So in this study, um, uh, uh, this is the um, uh, details of the reinforced uh, co concrete column that was used. Uh, so more details um, uh, before that, uh, several of the um, the specimen were tested under freeze thaw cycles through a pilot experimental program um, to see the behavior of concrete columns under freezing and thawing cycles. Uh, so based on the experimental result, the constitutive uh, models um, uh, for the um, columns were uh, developed and uh, detailed section analysis were um, um, done and the model was verified against the experimental result under freezing and thawing cycles. So we are all familiar with the material constitutive model of regular um, concrete both for confined and unconfined concrete but when they are subjected to freeze thaw cycle their behavior um, changes and that cannot be represented by the commonly available um, concrete model. So um, in order to incorporate that in the numerical model um, uh, unconfined recycle aggregate concrete stress strain model after freeze thaw cycle and the confined recycle aggregate concrete model after freeze thaw cycle was developed and also the steel stress strain model and the bar slip model was uh, developed and uh, they were incorporated into the open sys um, framework. Um, so um, in open sys, uh, this is the general model uh, for modeling the stress strain behavior of um, concrete and um, it was modified to um, 
um, simulate the behavior of, of um, uh, concrete behavior under Fischer cycle. Uh, so um, uh, several specimens were tested um, uh, which were subjected to um, freeze environment in the um, um, laboratory condition uh, and they were subject to the cyclic loading and uh, based on this result the open sys model was uh, validated and as you can see here the solid line shows the um, open sys modeling curve and the um, dotted lines are for the uh, from the experiment. Uh, so as you can see there is a very close match between the experimental result and the uh, numerical model that was um, uh, incorporated in the open sys platform um, and also this is um, for the um, uh, confined uh, one where uh, the um, some specimens were tested uh, after um, the cycles of uh, freeze straw um, exposure and then they were modeled in the um, open sys and uh, which shows very good um, from validation with the experiment. Um, and uh, for the um, steel model, uh, the steel uh, 02 model that is available in the um, open sys that was used and the bond slip model was also used um, um, for the modeling the um, uh, concrete column um, under free throw cycle. And based on that um, and also for the um, sectional analysis, uh, the distribution of the um, freestyle cycle and the, um, uh, how they uh, represent uh, the number of freestyle cycle um, that was uh, developed. So section analysis, it was found that um, how the representation of a frost damage depth um, relate to the, um, uh, because whenever you have freestyle cycle, your structure is subject to a certain level of frost depth. So what um, based on the amount of frost depth, how it uh, changes the behavior of the um, section was also incorporated. So for the modeling of the bridge column sectional analysis was also carried out. So here you can see the relation between the RDME and the RC prisms and subject to freeze cycle and this was done for both standard and non-standard freeze cycle and these equations were developed for calculating the freeze thaw damage. And uh, for developing the constitutive model, three different specimens, uh, specimen ID, which is NF0, R50, and R52, with uh, different levels of um, uh, recycle aggregate replacement level were developed. And um, uh, as you can see here, the uh, parameters uh, that were required for defining the um, constitutive model of uh, concrete under freeze cycle in open sys parameter and in the open sys platform uh, a fiber modeling approach was um, used using the distributed plasticity approach where the concrete and steel fiber is defined um, using the concrete uh, model uh, developed uh, um, from the experimental result and the steel zero uh, to model. Um, and after that, uh, the model was verified with the experimental uh, result of the um, uh, freeze thaw cycles. Um, um, a total of six specimens was tested and then they were validated under uh, lateral loading condition to simulate the response of the um, recycle aggregate bridge columns um, under freeze thaw cycle. So once the model was uh, validated, a uh, detailed evaluation was uh, conducted to uh, develop the fragility curves to evaluate how um, these uh, um, recycle aggregate bridge columns when subjected to freezing and thawing cycles we perform under uh, different seismic environments. So this um, uh, chart shows you the um, procedure where uh, the models are first developed and based on the uh, first damage length and the um, probable uh, freeze thaw cycle, the constitutive models were developed and uh, detailed fine element simulation was completed and uh, after that with those modeling um, uh, using a suit of different ground motions um, the relationship between the intensity measure and damage parameter was established which using a probabilistic seismic demand model that developed the um, fragility curves. Uh, so um, uh, this is the um, uh, details in the dimension of the bridge pier that was used for the fragility assessment. This was a um, uh, 500 uh, millimeter diameter um, uh, concrete column with a uh, four, 4 meter um, uh, long and axial load of um, uh, 2400 kilonewton. So this um, uh, column was subjected to a hundred um, uh, different um, uh, ground motions um, uh, because um, uh, which were collected from the pier NGA ground motion database. As you can see that magnitude of this uh, ground motion are uh, very widely from 5.5 uh, to 7.5 in um, Richter magnitude and those are all um, uh, ground motions which are uh, far field ground motions, no near field ground motions were considered in this study. And the damage limit state was considered in terms of the ductility demand where four different damage states like two complete damage states were considered uh, based on the um, ductility demand. Um, where uh, mu y represent the um, displacement ductility and mu m represent the ductility when it achieves the maximum uh, lateral capacity. 
and mu u represent when the ductility on the column capacity reduces by 15% uh, from the maximum capacity. So based on this uh, four dam state, um, fragile curves are developed and these um, limit states were developed uh, based on uh, pushover analysis uh, for um, all those um, samples where you can see that uh, the yield point, the peak point and the 0.85% point of the maximum. So this is the um, yield deformation level, this is the maximum capacity and this is the point where the capacity reduces by 15% uh, and these are used to calculate the um, uh, different damage states or the limit states for all those um, the nine specimens the, that was used uh, for the fragility assessment. Uh, so using those 100 ground motions and all these um, the different peer samples, uh, the fragility analysis was carried out and in this case two different intensity measure was uh, considered both the peak ground acceleration and peak ground velocity uh, to see which is um, now which uh, intensity measure is more um, suitable uh, for um, this kind of scenario and uh, based on uh, the um, r square value or the correlation coefficient between the intensity measure and the demand parameter it was found that the pgv has is a better choice because if you look at the um, uh, correlation coefficient i think which is very hard for you to uh, see from there uh, so um, the um, pgv has a better correlation with the um, uh, demand parameter or the ductility that was selected so based on that the fragility curves was uh, developed based on the pgv as the uh, intensity measure so this uh, chart shows the uh, fragility curves of for the um, uh, for of the different specimens and um, um, as you can see that this is the um, natural aggregate series this is the recycle aggregate uh, which is um, 50 percent replacement level this is subjected to uh, no free throw cycle this is subjected to 100 uh, free throw cycle and then um, um, recycle aggregate concrete with 100 free throw cycle and 200 and 300 free throw cycle so uh, this curve shows the effect of um, RCA replacement um, uh, ratio um, as it can be seen that the fragility curves was um, of the RSC 50 is very close to the um, um, natural aggregate concrete that is not a significant amount of difference but as you increase the replacement level to 100 percent the um, uh, vulnerability increases um, slightly and in terms of the free throw ratio as you see that as the it goes to um, higher number of free throw ratios uh, its um, the probability of uh, damage increases and this is true for all um, damage states and uh, finally it was found that the proposed uh, nonlinear finite element model that was developed in the open sys platform was effective in uh, calculating the capacity of the structure more accurately and a uh, very good observation was um, found between the experimental and the analytical result and it was found that uh, in terms of uh, the demand um, intensity measure pgv is a better uh, select mission in case of uh, this um, recycle aggregate concrete bridge pair because that has good correlation with the damage parameter and it was found that uh, the proposed maximum ratio for um, re RCA replacement level is 50% when it is subjected to an earthquake prone areas. And uh, thank you for your attention. And if you have any question, I think they will be the better guy to uh, direct your question as I was not directly involved into this. Thank you.